Hey guys, Dan here. Just letting you know that I do reactions every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also do live streams on YouTube and Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. All my socials will be linked down below and if you really want to help out the channel, there will also be a link to my Patreon. It's not much right now, but it's a start. Don't forget to like and subscribe and now on to the video. Have a good day. Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to another video and another reaction. And today we return to Sniper in Outlast for episode 5, a series made by HighGamer808, so just be sure to give a like to the original video, link down to the description, give a like to this video, subscribe, check the live streams that come out on every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, I do live streams on YouTube and Twitch, and if you can, check out the other reactions that came out today, I did a few of them, there will still be another one coming out today, and uh, just enjoy yourself, have fun! And uh, guys, tell me in the comments what you think of this. This week I did not put the videos on Premiere. I just uh, released them and announced their release on the community tabs. So tell me if you prefer the Premiere way or the no Premiere, no way. <laughs> so tell me in the comments what you guys think. By the end of the week, I will tell the result of that. And uh, for now, it's just that. I have a few more things to say after the reaction. If you guys can stay here, it will be amazing. And uh, on last episode on Sniper, now last, uh, he defeated the Doctor. So, now, without further ado, I think we're ready. You ready? I'm ready. So, let's go. Warning! The following video contains blood, gore, flashing lights, jump scares, bad language, and content not suitable for ages 14 and under. Viewer description as advised. You are advised. All right, I've got my radio patched up. Since him, I could be in a different dock. Maybe the radio frequency can work. Objective: Look for Father Martin. Sniper, sniper, you there? Yeah. Oh, hey, Angie. Oh, thank goodness you're all right, partner. We haven't got anything from you, so we've been worried. No, I've been going through and seen some messed up stuff, mate. All ago, a crazy dog had caught one of my fingers off. It still hurts hell and sometimes I have trouble holding them. This since one of my fingers are gone. Oh Jesus. There is the, the wall right there. Massive asylum and we'll be on our way to get you off. Well that might take eight hours for us to be there. Damn, what I love that's the case I'm gonna eight try hours. to see if I can find a different well out here. They'd find out how a life some sort of help and for you guys to land on. Where are you now? And in some sort of courtroom. One thing that I totally forgot about uh, after the doctor uh, small chase is that you actually went through the door that uh, you saw that was written exit. I really did not remember that uh, you could actually go through that door. I thought that was just a small teaser the player to just see a way out and then never see it again. But no, we are actually in a courtyard. I thought it was another exit, but that damn doctor had to freak with me about it. Not just that. You're badly near to some crack ribs. Hey, Truman, and now your fingers have been cut off. At least when we pick you up, medic can heal you with his medic gun and you'll be in tip top shape. Yeah, I already wish I could use Doc's medic gun right now. Listen, hey, Truman, in crack ribs I can handle, but not getting my fingers cut off. So, is there anything you've discovered yet? Yeah, in fact, this place is literally. They're hell giving you too many resources that is very some strange, mysterious thing. That's obviously influencing the place. Engineer. Spy, Hello, spy! Sniper, good to see you lived another day. You find your way out yet? Now, not even close, although I can tell you both what I discovered. Go on. So, not only I've seen some weird paranormal activity stuff, but I believe I have a theory on what happened here. Everything that's been happening here, the breakout, the inmates, the priest, everything. This place is connected to this wall, right? Apparently, in this asylum, there must have been some psychological experiments that involves the supernatural. So, like the Milgram experiment? Well, no, it didn't, because it's controversial study that explored the effects of authority on obedience. During the 1960s, Yale mm. University psychologist Stanley Milgram conducted a series of obedience experiments that led to some surprising results. Once again, it's too bad that the series does not have uh, subtitles. Because it would be very interesting to be able to read after they're saying Uber that can be very weird to understand sometimes. And uh, I just wish I could actually read what they're saying. That would help me a lot. It's only magic! Are you alright? I go help me. I think I've seen the wall right. So 
Yeah, there is. Run. Run. I don't think Doris uh, will stop him, Sniper. Yes, oh, the Alright, I'll see you soon. Careful sniper, don't jump on the barbed wire sniper. For a moment I thought he was going to jump on the barbed wire. With this rain, I could slip off. I can have that happen. Yeah, just imagine surviving everything that you survived so far, sniper, and uh, you die because you slipped yeah, in the edge of of, uh, of the second floor. Oh! Oh, not battery. But just uh, seeing this environment like this, I understand it's the fact of the game, but... Uh, oh, Chris. But uh, an environment like this with only a camera showing this really demotivates me to play Outlast. In a horror game, I like to be able to see everything, you know? I don't like this uh, uh, dipped in darkness type, uh, type of environments. I like to see where I'm going and what I like to be able to see. The, the game environment and the kind of structures. But on Outlast, it's very hard to be able to do that. Jesus! The Phantom Ford buddies! So much blood in the water! I can't smell it! I put a penny in your mouth when you were a kid. The whispers yeah. are making more sense. I'm looking for static. It's like an itch. Funny enough, I can relate to the when he said it's like, uh, yeah, he said I can feel it in my mouth. It's like uh, when you put a pen in your mouth, like uh, when you were a kid. Yeah, I think uh, most kids did that, or they tasted a penny or a coin. Ugh. Get to that priest. Get to him, I can get some answers about the wall rider. And so Sniper finds his way to the priest with more questions than answers. Knowing this wall rider is Zoro and on the losing sniper can't waste time as he continues forward into the darkness finding keys for locked doors. Yeah, that's something that uh, I think that it should uh, that high game should have done for the last episode. Because last episode was a lot of him walking around, running around uh, I think that it was a little bit uh, uh, lost while playing, but this I think is a better approach, you know, just to do a cutaway to the actual uh, business of the episode, you know? I think this uh, was a very wise choice here. So this was more, was more of a puzzle area to just find keys again. Having to continue his investigations, Nipus goes further and further into the Devil's Den. The sound in the machine like the sound in my head when the wall rider appeared. I blink and then I see static. I see something else. Something only in dark descending behind my eyelids. Watching me with organs I can't imagine. But the sound is coming from the machine. Too. From inside the walls. 
Go in sniper. Let's jump. A dead body at the bottom of the elevator shaft. Had to buy food. He barricaded himself in some place safe, some place nobody could reach him. Didn't work. Yeah, if you're barricading yourself somewhere, just be sure that uh, you will have something to eat or to su survive off. Okay, back away from the inmate bewitching in the corner. Yep, back away. Now we rarely see inmates, which is something I think is a very nice tone of, of uh, change of tone. You know, they, we went from the main asylum maybe to the psychiatric area and then to this place which I do not know the name of to see less and less uh, inmates it, it helps to change the tone of the series to a more serious and uh, uh, lonely feeling you know Right, so he went all the way just to get the file. Then you just came from this place. Okay, now he did a small cutaway, and that's where he was supposed to go. Okay, uh, that's a uh, that's way better. Okay, for a moment I thought we were hearing someone else. Oh, two batteries. They're giving a lot of batteries now for the end game. But uh, for a moment I thought that uh, the voice that we heard the yeah was from an inmate, I thought, oh, are we gonna have another chase? But no, it was from the actual character from the last game. Who's that? Take a gander at this little princess. Not cool, sniper. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling like I'm uh, gonna sneeze uh, in a minute. Oh, there he is. It's Monday you got this. It's just a one. Sorry, guys, I'll I find a way out there. You just need to pass the acrobatics check. That's not gonna work. I think that this is one of the main things that uh, I don't really like about Outlast. I mean, it has a, the intention to make you explore the map, to search for things, to fill the ambience in the environment. Piece piece. But I think that yeah, the combination that of the sure exploration is. plus this... Uh, uh, oh, that was, a, that was a close one. Plus there's a very, very restricted uh, sight uh, that you can be provided by the camera. It, it does not attract me, it makes you get lost very, very easily, you know? I think it decreases the feeling of fear, of anxiety, of a certain death, and just makes you get uh, confused. You know, I've seen some people in the past play it, I watched many gameplays, videos of this uh, game when it was coming out, and uh, the main feeling on the first game was people not confused, not knowing where to go, what to do. I recognize the handwriting. Oh no. Kill the man Are these the, the twins? The guys he's talking about all the files missing from these boxes, the facts, the records. They yeah, look I think... like government agency material, at least 30 years old, probably older. 
I stopped thinking the culprit's CI mind control. The buzzing oh. won't stop. Yeah. yeah, I think this is these are the twins that are trying to follow him. With less battery, does the quality of the uh, night vision get worse? That's a small question that I have. Can you guys tell me in the comments? Damn, been dumb enough, Paco. Ah! Oh crap! Now no, my camera. That was well, a that very, was a very real slow bloody fall. Route. Oh, those are a close one. And someone Damn had it. entered the room. I Did you guys see that? Without my camera. See, that's what I'm. Oh. It's got to be around here somewhere. I definitely don't say if it can't navigate through the dark. Okay, this and jump scare did not catch me so hard as the other the ones. Counties. We should could, uh, maybe get weapons in this game, you know? There are so many random things in the ground that you can use to defend yourself. Now see, look at that. So you without a camera, you cannot do anything, basically. God, I freaking hate this You're place. just gonna Where's hug the walls and uh, walk around it. Trying to find a way. <laughs> Wish they would have maybe added a flashlight mechanic. You know, maybe an item that you can actually also Part use it, AI. but you need to, to maybe use two still works. of the batteries. Wait, what was that, real quick? It still works. Okay, there was something there to be continued. Peace. Okay. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys can give a like to the original video and give a like to this video, subscribe, watch the live streams, watch the other reactions that came out today, and watch the reaction that will came out later today. I think that uh, we are only... Two or three episodes short from finish this, we are past uh, ha the half halfway of the season. So tell me in the comments what do you guys think. I think that my main criticism so far to the Outlast game itself is just that uh, the game is too dark for me. It's too easy to get lost uh, and confused and that takes away a lot of the actual feeling that you could have gotten from a horror game. The actual good feeling of a horror game. And I really just wish that there were subtitles to be able to read the story, you know, to be able to understand the topics that they're debating. Because uh, it's very hard for me, being a Brazilian that uh, doesn't have English as its first language, to be able to hear everything. Because Uber Duck is very, very groggy when speaking. Do you guys still have uh, the same problem as me? Do you guys have the same problem as me when uh, hearing, the, hearing Uber Duck? Well, please tell me in the comments. If you guys can, please also tell me if you guys prefer the videos with Premiere or without Premiere. I hope to see you guys next time on the next video. And until said time arrives, I wish you guys a good day. Bye!